All right, what's up, you beat heads, gear heads, MPC heads, music heads? I'm back with another demonstration. So, Akai just made an update to the MPC software. We're now on um, 2.4, version 2.4. And it came with a few new um, bells and whistles that uh, I haven't really had a chance to explore too much. I downloaded the software a few days ago and um, I'm finally getting around to playing with it a little bit. So there's this one plugin uh, that's really cool. They've, they've actually added a few new plugins to the collection. There's some new air effects plugins that I haven't had a chance to tamper with yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it because this is awesome you buy this unit you know and um, hey it's not cheap okay but I feel good about it they, they just uh, for, for the MPC X owners they just uh, gave us a bundle of sounds and now with this update you know I think anyone who has the MPC X or the MPC live or I'm not sure who but I know um, I got the MPC X and it came with these new plugins with the update, the 2.4. So I'm going to show you one that I love. Okay, I did this little dummy beat just so you guys could uh, check it out, see, check out the capabilities. All right, so let me turn the beat up a little bit. All right. Let's see. Turn this bad boy up a little bit more. Okay, so I got a little beat right here, right? So let's break it down. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. Hold on. Is that the right button? Nope, not that one. I'm in the dark so you guys can see the screen. But anyway, okay. Right there. Got a basic um, kick and snare sound right there. Just a straight beat. Okay. And this actually, this kick and snare was uh, with the free sounds that that they just gave the MPC X owners. So I just decided to throw that in there. Um, there's the hi-hat. And then to test out this plugin, I added a uh, 808, check it out. Hey, yeah, okay, so I got a little 808. Now, okay, we need to clean this up a bit. So we're gonna go to this uh, beautiful plugin. So check it out. Get back to the main screen. Uh, I can't see. Turn some lights on. Okay, we at the main screen. Okay, and we're gonna go to the track with the 808 on it. I think it's right here. Uh, let's go to the plugin. What happened to the plugin, man? Uh, there we go. Okay, it's off right now. And that's it. It's called Mother Ducker. It's a side chain compressor. Okay? So, uh, I have it on the kick, the 808 right now. And I'm going to use it to clean it up. Okay, so let's turn it up so you can hear it. See what it sounds like with the com uh, compressor off. Okay. Now, we will turn the compressor on. notice anything now you can actually hear the attack on the kick the kick is much cleaner listen okay let's turn it off mm, sounds okay a little muddy Yeah, now you can hear that attack. Okay, let's go and um, turn some of the knobs on it. Okay, let's play with... Um, oh, hold on here. Let's check out the ratio. Turn it up. 
turn that down. Now it's at 100. It's all the way up. Too much. Okay, let's turn it all the way down. This is a one to one ratio. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit. Just get it nice. Yeah, I think that's good right there. Okay, let's play with the knee. Which is the curve on the wave. all the way up 6 dBs let's turn it halfway 3 turn it all the way down it's all the way up now on the knee let's turn the knee down Very subtle change, uh, but it's a little change there. Nothing drastic here. At least on the kick, anyway. Who knows? It may, um, with different frequencies, it, it may be more noticeable. But it does clean it up, I must admit. It's very subtle, like I said, but it does help. Um, let's check out the attack. Let's see what the attack is about. Right now, we're at a one millisecond, which is all the way down. Thousand milliseconds. Yeah, it does add a little more punch. All right, turn it down. Go to one millisecond. One thousand milliseconds. Turn it up. One millisecond. So now the drums is cutting through nicely. Let's check out the release. We're all the way down at one millisecond. Let's turn it up. Oh, wow. That works great. Pretty much cuts the entire um, bass out. Okay. Oh, okay. done that release works great uh, let's uh, check out the threshold let's turn it all the way down first oh wow well, we know the threshold works great turn it all the way up that's cool because it allows that um, bass to resonate. Let's turn it down a little. Oh, okay. So the threshold works pretty effectively. You just have to adjust it to where it sounds good for the song. Alright, let's check out the game on it. resonate a little more. Let's turn down the gain. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, this is great. So you can play with the level of the bass still or whichever instrument you choose. And it's still effective. So Let's turn the um, sidechain compressor off. It's off right now. Right, let's turn it on. Nice. If you close your eyes and listen, 
you could hear the kick cutting through. Nice. Off. Close your eyes and listen. It's off right now. It's a little muddy. On. Yeah. Maybe I could turn the ratio. Ratio down a little. dope he's got the little hot kai hat on he looks pretty cool the name is cool um yeah i mean it looks great it works i mean you hear you heard what it can do so yeah that's one of the little additions that akai added to the 2.0 i mean i'm sorry 2.4 software update and uh we just heard this on the mpcx Mother Ducker. Yeah. All right. Thanks to you for checking out Studio Toys. And uh, if you like the vibe, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I will bring you more tips and tricks and let you know what's really going on. Peace. <laughs>